Okay, so let's look at the last, oh, excuse me, the first two weeks of April. Nice, okay, well, we have the World card, and we have the Page of Swords. So the World card indicates that, you know, this is the last card of the Major Arcana, and this is the one that where you feel enlightened, spiritually enlightened, physically well, um, abundant, you know, that starts, of course, with the the fool card. And the fool is a young child and is just like, oh, okay, I'm carefree. But by the time you get to the world card, you're being blessed because you have been through so much. There are opportunities to grow. There are opportunities to serve you. That's a nice card to get, the world card. It's just, it feels more relaxing. It feels peaceful. Like I was saying before, I keep getting that from you all. Are some of you meditating more or I know a lot of you like to light candles and, and meditate. I'm just getting a very peaceful essence from you and this card. Like you, like you know what this means to you. You know that you've been through the, you know what house, the, and I don't mean nut house. I mean, S H house. Um, you've been through a lot and yet, here she's naked, but she's wrapped with this beautiful purple cloth. She has her two wands. She's surrounded by this wreath of celebra celebration. You're ready. Then we have the Page of Swords. This indicates to me this is an air sign. This would be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, I'm trying to get the feeling of this person to you. I feel like they are younger. The pages are younger. Um, and I feel like they have either given you reason to up your game or they've given you a lot of flack or you, they are a child that you've possibly had trouble with, problems with. Um, the page of swords can be, yeah, the pay, I'm, I'm hesitating here because I'm feeling into the cards. The page of swords can be an abrupt feeling. It can come as a feeling of recklessness. And I want you to stay in this very calming stage here. So, you know, we aren't always. Sometimes we do have peaks and valleys. Life is not perfect. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here on earth. We are here to evolve and grow. <laughs> Our spirits are using our bodies to do this. So, okay. Uh, we have the wonderful world card. Then we have the page of swords. This is not in itself a negative card, and I don't want you to think it is. I'm just looking at how beautiful this card is, and I was like, hmm. But I may want to challenge this. I may want to challenge this, because he's looking at her. So just know that there may be someone who's mentally challenging, challenging to you and or verbally. Okay, the transitory card. I'm doing these all straight up. Uh, the Three of Pentacles. Well, the Three of Pentacles is using your talents to be of service. This may be philanthropy. I feel like these two cards are really connected because I feel like what if you... I'm trying to say three things at once. In, when, and if you do the thing you love, then the world will come about. You know, you've had to go through a lot of sandstorms and you've had to put your goggles on and really see clearly to get to this place. This is not an easy place to get to because life is not that easy. But when you stop and you say, okay, how can I give my service to other people? How can I take the needs off of myself which really is what you're doing and give to other people. And then you get your needs met. Okay. This is about your money and your health and your property. So really being in a, a, a worker here, really putting the time in the three is a happy number. So I feel like you're going to see some, some joy around that. Hold on a minute. I'm getting a lot of different symbols and I'm not really sure how to interpret them. Um, Okay, so it, huh, interesting. This is both man and animal combined. So I'm seeing like a, 
um, like a colonial, colonial looking man, but it's the body of say a horse. That's interesting. Um, Hmm. So what could that mean? A colonial man. Um, and when I say colonial, for those of you who are in different countries, uh, back in America, in what the the colonial days, sixteen seventeen hundreds, um, building colonies, building put, putting colonies together, putting new. Um, Groups of people together, new communities. Some of you might be interested in, in, I said that twice, in establishing a community that can exist on growing your own food, um, drinking spring water, those types of things that sort of felt like what it was, believe it or not, colonization of, of a specific type of group for some of you might be interested in that living differently living more simple you know the tiny house thing that's going on right now the the fad some of you will some of you won't you know just because you live in a tiny house uh doesn't mean you'll necessarily be around like-minded people like-minded individuals so always make sure that your community are the type of people you want to be around all right let's see what else comes up for pisces anything else uh, wow, um, a beautiful dragon with wings is flying and is very kind, very warm. So think of any um, caricature dragons, beautiful dragons that have been in movies. That might be of interest to some of you. That might be very Harry Potterish <laughs> feeling. All right, Pisces, this has been a very broad reading i've covered several aspects here but it looks like your money and your your work has come into play and how you feel now about your about who you are your gift to the world don't let anybody interrupt that okay so for some reason i want to lay the cards out to where this this card feels important the the um transitory energies that play from one month to the other. But, of course, all cards are important. So let's go ahead and turn over the last two weeks of April. Well, I mean, that's a story in itself, Pisces. I have to say, let me move these down. We have a story going here for the last two weeks of April, and it's felt like that with the other two signs I've done uh, for this particular series. Yeah, you have, emotionally speaking, the moving on card. It's like you, whatever has been negative or even positive, but you've wrapped up the negative stuff. You're ready to move into a new cycle. Um, the moon and the sun both have your back. You have eight cups straight up, so it means that you've taken care of business. And the next card is the ten of cups. So this is all about you anyway, Pisces, water sign, cups, yep. And so you're moving towards happy home, happy family, just feeling joy in your heart. I love that success coming out of these cards. And you can see he's actually facing uh, the Ten of Cups, the Eight and the Ten. So I like this little story for the end of April. So many of you all that are moving, uh, picking up roots, uh, literally moving, moving to another city, another country, uh, or in another house or you just kind of have the feelings that hey i'm ready to move past this relationship and i want to be happy joyful creative intuitive all of those things i feel like you all are moving into that i'm very excited to see these cards now we have for the first two weeks of april then we'll look at the transition card we have the king of wands and we have a major arcana the strength card Where's my wand? Here it is. Okay, so this King of Wands represents a fire sign, which would be Sagittarius, Leo, or, um, who am I leaving out? Aries. So sometimes when I leave a sign out, now of course, it's going. this person's going to be different for all of you. Somebody may say, well, no, it's a Leo, no, it's Sagittarius. But when I kind of can't think of the name of, like I did a minute ago, uh, the sign, like it just wasn't coming to me, 
for some of you, it's Aries that this card represents. Again, the court cards are the most abstract because we don't always know who it is or if it's an essence of you. And for everybody, they're going to be different. But I'm just getting sort of this person, and this can be a man or woman, this person who has... Um, major creative outlets. They are passionate about their work. They've mastered their passions. Um, a, a fire sign personality, but the king is settled with where he is now because he has mastered. Um, he's moved on to new territory. It's interesting it comes up under this. I don't know why I just said that either. Uh, but it feels like maybe this king of wands is assisting you with moving or possibly you're moving away from them. So let me know in the comments below. It's just this indication who this might be. Let me know who this might be because the indication is there is a fire sign in your reading or someone who has a fireish personality. Um, again, the king isn't always that blatant about it, but it can represent someone who has come off pretty strong in their opinions um, and maybe also been pushy towards you, meaning they've been very suggestive in what they think you should be doing. Or this could be a wonderful king. This king could be someone who's held your hand through some hard times because we do have the strength card. The strength is a uh, card is a sign from the universe to stand up, Pisces. We have your back. You you have strength. You have the power to keep going, the power to move on. I keep getting that into happy times. You have the ability to create a happy life for yourself. Or you're moving past them. You're doing one or the other. And some of you, it will be one thing. But the feeling is beneficial. Let's see what the transitory card looks like. Aha! Uh -huh. Because some of you have been up at night and worried or crying or sick if you've had colds or flus or you've just been over mentally thinking and just over analyzing and worrying and you guys are not a, a well I shouldn't say that you're an analyzing sign. Of course we all do. But maybe you've been rethinking and thinking and it's just caused you some grief and you've wanted to, this has been kind of like the impetus that's holding everything together, believe it or not, because when we see the downtime periods is when we were motivated to move into a better place. And I feel like that's what you all are doing. And the universe has your back. Okay. Let's see what the crystal has to say for Pisces. Mid-April to mid-May. What does this look like for Pisces? Well, I'm seeing... Um, you know how when you have those ink blot uh, pictures, in other words, you put ink into a paper, you fold it in two, and it's the mirror image, like a butterfly? That's what I was seeing. So... Some of you may have been doing some mirror work, which means looking at any negative beliefs and anything that haven't hasn't served you well, or maybe you learn them from childhood and you're wanting to let it go, uh, diffuse, let those go because the past is the past and the present is the present. And then we have the future, but we really do sometimes build our life around these uh, limiting beliefs. And that was just something someone said to us. So I feel like some of you have done are doing that. Okay, I see a, well, first look like a man, but wow, this is, that looks like a child. Okay, and what is this person doing? This person has a, sort of thick hair. I'm not saying long hair, just thick hair. But then, you know, it's interesting because at the same time, when I turn the crystal, it looks like maybe, you know, you think about what a nurse, the nurse's hat that they used to wear. I'm not sure they do anymore, this white hat, uh, kind of, yeah, hat caps looking things. So um, 
some of you may be in the healing arts industry. I mean, I wouldn't doubt that with your your nurturing and your intuition. Um, but I'm trying to figure out who with it. This person is a little bit of a mystery. So if anybody comes up in the next month, this next month, and you're not sure who they represent, then go into your intuition because because I cannot, I can't get a straightforward feeling of who they are and what they represent. Okay, so for the totem animal, I'm seeing a swan. Swans are beautiful. Swans are peaceful, right? Um, in numerology, I say for the number two. Number two is if you're a two life path uh, or you're born on the second or the 20th, um, eight, uh, um, 28th. No, that's not 29th. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I adds up to do. Um, you have a peaceful, tactful way about you. You're also good with your hands. You know, maybe you create art or you're good with you know, taking apart computers and putting them back together for some of you. Or maybe you're a good healer. I, I'm going into that territory again. Okay, anything else for Pisces? Oh, I see a fish. That's interesting. Huh, okay. And some of you that have been eating um, some dairy products, possibly a lot of cheese, it, I don't know what that means to you if you have been, but, um, you know, cheese is yummy, right? For most, I have known people not to like it, which, you know, but of course, not too much of it for different reasons. Okay. It's interesting. The color I'm getting is more of a, um, okay, well, it would be the first chakra. It was sort of a, a brownish reddish. So that would be first chakra. That would um, you know, that's what we work on when we want to feel like we're manifesting, like we're safe in our house, like we're, uh, we're grounded. Okay. So some of you may have been working on that. This is a black tourmaline, which of course is very grounding, but it can be black or red. And basically I was seeing both. All right. Both colors to combined. Okay. So I'm going to add up the cards. And we have an 8, and 10 is 18, and 9 is 27. Sorry, I'm leaning over for a minute. 27, 28, and 8 is 36. You know, it's interesting, Pisces. You do have two 8 cards and a 9 and a 10. So you have some higher uh, numbered cards. So there's some definitely some endings going on. Um, and eight is about, you know, it's the infinity sign on its side, but it also is about moving in a new direction. Um, well, you have that and you have the strength that's saying you have the ability to do so. All right. So what do we, we added that up to nine or 36, didn't we? Which would basically add up to nine. And that's about completions. I feel like a lot of you are, have either ended a relationship or you're in a, transformation stage but you're almost getting past the bumps and I think you'll really feel that in May um, but you know in other words if you think of the left as being oh all the problems then in the middle you know it's kind of like a, a um, indicator in the middle it's getting better and then on the to the right is oh it's much better I feel like you're right you're more towards the right but there's still some stuff to go through and You'll handle it with uh, ease once you realize what you want.